Hey guys, Destiny Dragon God here with another episode of No Man's Sky or Info episode. Now, before everyone starts typing in the comment section uh, about how this game isn't interesting, why am I covering it, and why am I not doing something else? Let me explain. So many people think that No Man's Sky is dumb, uninteresting. They say I don't get the point. I don't know what to do. I don't understand the hook of it. What's my objective? Can I play with my friends? But this just looks like the same stuff from the last trailers I've seen. Now, from this intro alone, you can dispute and talk about what you want in the comment section, and I really do want some talks being talked about in the comment section. I'll get along with that later, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later. But really, this is going to be a little bit of a Q&A slash rant video that I want to just, I've been meaning to say about this game for a while, because I am interested in it, and I think a lot of people should be interested in it. Now, let's go back to the just topic of ironicy here because I really want to get this point my channel as you guys know is a very small channel and even those of you that are clicking to find out more about No Man's Sky as well as the fact that if you are new and want to know more about No Man's Sky do not click off this video I'm going to be talking like I said about a Q&A I will reiterate that point multiple times in this video because I really want people to understand what this game is before they start talking about how it's comparable to games like Call of Duty and other things and they start talking about how bad it is because of it Anyway, the uh, ironicity I was talking about was the actual view count, subscriber count, and my actual dislike count. Which is, if you check the last few No Man's Sky videos I've done, I don't think I've only done two, or this will be the third, sorry. Um, these are the only videos I've actually ever gotten a dislike on. Now I say that now, and now some of my other videos are probably getting dislikes because of my pointing out that fact because of trolling. But it doesn't matter. This My point is this. Those videos have also gotten over 100 views on each. And I've checked the watch time, and most of it is 98 to... It's between the 80 and 90 range percentage of the amount of time watched on the video. And that means people are pretty much... They're, they're staying for the No Man's Guy stuff. They really like the No Man's Guy stuff. And maybe they want more, and maybe they're just not saying it, because I really would like people to comment down below about what you think personally about this game, especially after watching this video. But I really want this video to break the 200. I really want it to get more because I want more people to understand what the appeal of this game is. And they, uh, thereby making a just decision on if you want it or if you don't. That's as simple as that. Anyway. Uh, I implore the audience watching to state, how, like I said, how you feel and everything like that. I also ask that everyone share this video. That's the last thing I want to kind of talk about. But it doesn't matter. Let's continue on. With a lengthy introduction, the first question and counter-argument to No Man's Sky is as follows. What is my main objective? What is, you know, what do you do? Because that's the main thing I hear. What do you do in No Man's Sky? Is there any point to it? So, if you desire in No Man's Sky, you are supposed to reach the center of the galaxy you spawn in. Because it's, there's disputed, and it's also been more or less confirmed that there are multiple galaxies, although everyone will start in the same galaxy in the first time. But there are multiple galaxies, supposedly, so that's more on that later. But yes, you are supposed to reach the first, uh, the center of your galaxy. Uh, you start on the outer rim. However, besides that, the other there are other objectives to strive for. Find another player, because finding players will be extremely hard until you get closer to the center. Um, or s find your friend soon to be, you never know, he could be your friend, um, you could find a friend, become a trading tycoon and be the wealthiest across the stars, become a ravenous space pirate that hunts for treasure and robs and destroys trading outposts, you can destroy outposts, uh, you can also shoot trading like cargo off ships and steal that, or just watch it happen and steal it before they can. the other ships can salvage it, but that, more on that later. Or be just a person that protects nature and loves to explore for no reason other than just to do so. The point that I'm trying to illustrate here is that you... Listen, you have many goals in No Man's Sky. And I think that's the thing people are kind of tripped up on. And this is going to go along with the second question. And that's why I'm, I'm going to go right into it here. Is that all there is? Or, you know, to what end am I doing this? To what end? Why should I go to the center? Why should I go do this? Why should I become a trader? Why should I do this? Okay, to answer this question, I really want people to listen to this next segment I'm about to talk about. Okay, 
Now, I'm going to take a quote straight from Sean Mur Murray. It's kind of paraphrased a bit, but just hear it out. I see an era in gaming we're in, and I see the younger generation out there, a generation fascinated by games like Minecraft, where they can let their imaginative minds influence the world around them, not to get stars or to get achievements or to get points, just to show how they are in a virtual environment. When I see that it makes me want to do this it wants, makes me want to give you an infinite space where you can express yourself in the way you want to with infinite possibilities now minus that quote uh, of Sean claps for Sean right there uh, the only developer in the last few years I've actually seen give a damn about its people player base and um, experience uh, this quote gives you a lot uh, gives a lot of those who don't understand No Man's Sky a, a little bit of clarity on what it is and if you don't understand let me explain in no man's sky you have many goals like I stated earlier but the argument of this is just or sorry but the argument of is that it is the point the point I'm trying to illustrate from is that it the point for most is the hardest to understand that point I just said and to that extent I didn't know at first, or I didn't know why at first people didn't understand this point. Because, you know, you think, uh, I, and I'll explain why you think, but you think the appeal, some of us, the appeal was so simple to understand. The uh, the want and need of this game and the, the way this game was supposed to be played was just easy to understand. Uh, someone I know, I ex showed them the game and I showed them one trailer and they immediately knew what they, the game was about and they said, that's just exciting and amazing. And I, I just didn't understand at first, but I'll get in. I'm gonna get into why that I think people aren't understanding it. I watched the first trailer almost a year ago. All right, I understood the point of the game, like I said, but I won't lie. When I understood it, I was kind of skeptical. And the reason why is that the game has a unique feel that isn't really captured anymore. When I mean anymore, it's not something that's really expressed that much by other games unless they're really explorative or adventurous and that is freedom that's and that's why I was so skeptical when I first looked at this game I was so skeptical because I've never I've not never I and sorry the way I said that but I have only seen in a few instances some games like Elite Dangerous and other games like that where there was true freedom as to what I could do and it's so simplistic, freedom. That's what, and when I fought, because I got it so simply, I was just kind of astonished that some people didn't. It was the freedom to choose your own journey, the freedom to build your own ship, the freedom to spec out the way you play, the freedom to decide your own objective, discover, explore, and just be free. A lot of games that are AAA these days restrict you, and I'm going to be completely honest in this video. They hold your hand. They tell you to do something. They, If you do it the wrong way to them, they tell you you're wrong and that you need to do it a specific way. They give you set pieces, cutscenes, some interesting at the first time you see them, but soon repetitive by the end. Maybe because of a poor outcome, you yourself couldn't change it. Maybe that's why. Telling you why you can't or this that happened because and not letting the player instinctually realize why this happened to this extent there are some games out there that do not do this like that's the thing there are some games out there that do not do this so don't feel like I'm bashing every other game that's not No Man's Sky that's not what I'm doing here I'm just saying especially in the AAA genre especially in the shooter genre since people love to compare No Man's Sky to it some of these games do do know when to stop that is true but there are a lot of games out there, and I'm going to go ahead and give examples such as Call of Duty and Destiny that don't. Hate me in the comments if you will, but if you have an actual point about why those are, please reiterate it and tell me it in the comments uh, section and we can have a debate. Let's not do any bashing or anything like that at people. All right, And people, you're allowed to share your own opinions on this topic. I really want to see your own opinions on this. But... So when a player is thrown into a sandbox, getting on to the point, though, when a player is thrown into a sandbox of choices, challenges, and persistence, they might not know how to react because they've been so used to letting most of the stuff be decided for you. I mean, if you think about it, you pretty much have your playstyle in those games relatively. You you decide your playstyle. That's true, but besides that, you just they decide how you play, when you play, 
things like that. And you might say, well, I decided when to play this morning. I decided when to play, you know, in the afternoon. Or I decided I was going to use my character like this. You're restricted to a level that they want you to. And that's in most games. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's what I want to under. I want other people to understand as well. It's not necessarily a bad thing. The thing is, when you have a game like NMS, No Man's Sky, uh, the abbreviation, you, the world is your oyster. Do what you want when you want. If you want to be a trader, buying and mining goods cheaply and selling them at their highest, you know, becoming the wealthier as you go, do it. But go ahead. Maybe you want to explore finding rare ruins or artifacts and turning them in for discoveries to brag about what you've seen to your friends and showing off all this cool stuff you've seen in your procedurally generated world. And I mean the world that everyone's connected in. Maybe some people will try to go find it because they think it's awesome. Step right up and try to do it. Maybe you want to be a pirate hunter instead of being a pirate yourself, a bounty hunter, to fend freighters and from swabs of pirates and maybe share the freight that they are car uh, they're transporting. Maybe you want to be the highest. Maybe you want to get the highest wanted level for those of you that are GTA fans out there. And get in a mass firefight that spans across multiple star systems with the space police and military hot on your tail. Or maybe you just want to go to the center and know what's in it. But to get there, you'll have to face dangers, star side, land side, sentinels, and other things that stand in your way. Do it. How you do it and when you do it is your choice. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take a little breath after that. But my point is like this. If you, yeah, after this rant, like, that's, that's kind of the main rant of this video. But going on to the next question is just, okay, I get, you know, why I'm doing this. Maybe some of you are now like, okay, I get why I'm doing this. But, you know, what, but how do I, I don't know how to do it. Like, I don't know. They haven't showed us anything that shows me how I do something. Hello Games has been has been repeatedly said has repeatedly said to the people wondering this question that they want it to be similar to a game like Minecraft. I don't know if I'll plug in the quote here, but I probably won't for copyright reasons. But Hello Games basically said that in Minecraft, the first time it came out, there was no you had to make there were wikis made and everything like that, but everyone didn't know how to do things. Like you found these materials, but you had to kind of figure out how to craft them yourself. If you were told, some people want that to be told that, some people don't, and some people just kind of want like a little bit of instructional information, but he, but the idea is they want the player base to do that themselves, similar to Minecraft, and that's a good thing. They don't want to ruin the experience, and people will say, well, they're not ruining my experience because I don't know what I'm playing. You, that's the thing. You won't know until you play it. And you won't, and just looking at it, some of us understand, but some of us won't understand until we play it. Some of us might even just say that after they play it the first time, they're like, oh, well, I don't like this, or I don't like the way this plays. That's okay. But I feel like just saying it's stupid or saying it's lame because there's a lot of hype, getting, there's some hype getting around it now. Because it, it, the argument that was it was overhyped is not true. It was never overhyped. Now it's starting to get hyped. But yeah, it was never overhyped. But if the point is you want to say it's lame because you don't understand the concept of what they're trying to illustrate or you don't understand the concept of, I guess you'd say, simplistic freedom, then that's okay. If you want to play a game like Call of Duty or Destiny or maybe another shooter or something like that that's more structured, play any other shooter, like I just said. Play any of those. They're more structured. You'll get your experience out of them. But if you're playing, if you're looking for a game that actually gives you true freedom on what you do, how you do it, when you do it, the only objective, like I said, you really, if you really want an objective, is just go to the center. How you do it, when you do it, that's up to you. There's no trailers. There's no responses. Nothing I can tell you that's going to change that. Because when you get that game, or when you pick it up, when you put it in the um, when you put it in the slot in your console or PC, because we do know it's going to PC now. How you do it and what you do, it's completely up to you. And if you are going into that experience thinking it's going to hold your hand, you're going to be falsely mistaken, and you're going to get left behind by some people that are used to that type of experience. Now, enough like attacking other people. I'm not trying to attack anybody in this video, but let's get on to the next question. 
uh, or not next question. Let's ask how, like specifically how. So I know a lot of people are like, okay, this might sound all fine and dandy, but what are my tools to do this? You know, tools of the task. In No Man's Sky, you can uh, you can upgrade many parts of your playstyle, as well as craft um, many types of minerals and utensils to do so. Um, yes, we do. You can craft. For those of you wondering that are craft maniacs out there, you have endless possibilities with different utilities. You can create different materials, to upgrade various aspects of your suit, multi-tool, and ship. Your ship. All right, um, let's start with ship last. Let's actually do ship last. But your, let's start with suit. Your suit. Maybe you want a jetpack, and you want to be able to fly high without your ship, or maybe hover long distances without touching the ground. Then you have to find things to upgrade it to do that. Maybe you want to, I don't know, maybe you want to be able to dive into the deepest depths, survive the harshest conditions. Maybe you upgrade your suit to do that, or maybe have the toughest armor so when things are shooting at you, you can withstand the force and get back up and fight. Okay. Okay. Maybe, and this is when it goes with the second part, the multi-tool. The multi-tool is your all-purpose, I guess you'd say all-purpose, it doubles as a terrain, miner, and slash excavator, and a laser gun, as you saw, or as you'll see in this uh, video later. Um, a lot of things you can upgrade in your multi-tool, as well as the just mining the way you mine, uh, beams, and everything like that, and this is the uh, thing we have actually noticed or have has come to light now. You can actually customize, like, what multi-tool you have. Like, you don't have to have the same generic one someone else has. And that's the way the game is basically with crafting is there are blueprints for certain things that you will have to find or unlock. And you for those blueprints, you can make certain things. You just need the materials to make them, i.e. like Minecraft, except with blueprints. Uh, I guess you could say the wiki is a blueprint, but anyway, it's not about Minecraft. Um, but how you basically play with that multi-tools, there's going to be different styles for most multi-tools. Some multi-tools might be similar and just have different colors. Some might be completely different. One might be shaped like an assault rifle, have a super high damage output for fighting if you're one of those people like me that's going to go fight the robots head on. But some of them might be just more bulky, used for mining and for traders and things like that. But all this is probably as probably more least uh, not more probably least as important as your spaceship. It's customizable in forms of cargo, armaments, utilities, and warp drive distance. Now I think everything uh, there spoke for itself minus warp drive. The most important thing you will need to know about this segment I'm talking about is your warp drive, which is how you will traverse these enormous distances faster and more fluent. And you do need fuel for your warp drive. You'll need normal fuel and warp drive fuel. How you use your warp drive basically dictates how you're far you can stretch. Those little lines you see in all these segments are the distances your warp drive will take you. Upgrade your ship further and get better ships or craft a better ship if you want to to reach further distances faster. We At the moment, we only know of three classes of ships, which are the explorer, the trader, and the fighter. And I would assume the Explorer is the one that has the most warp drive distance, or the one that can craft you can craft at the most warp drive distance. But yeah, that's the stuff. Now, I could have uh, there's a lot of other questions I could probably answer, but I actually want to hear them from the people watching this video now on my own subscriber base. And if you're a new subscriber, or sign a new subscriber, if you're new to my channel, uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to check out more stuff, check out I have tons of videos on Destiny, Horizon Zero Dawn's coming very soon. I will be doing that Tom Clancy video for those of you waiting, and I will have more stuff on No Man's Sky very soon. I just wanted to get this video out as fast as possible. Sorry if it sounds stuttering in some spots. I really wanted to reiterate the point about what this game is, because a lot of people have asked me what it is, what do I do. I hope this gives you more in look. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Ask me in the comment section for maybe a more in-depth uh, speech about how or what it is. Maybe you'll understand if I put it in the words as opposed to saying it. Because maybe I fumbled my words or something like that. If that's your choice, or if you, and if after that you don't like the game either, uh, either way, that's your choice. And that's how you view the game. That's okay. If you don't like the game, maybe it's not your cup of tea. You want to play a game like Destiny or uh, Call of Duty, that's, you're, you're fine doing that. That doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you have to hate on No Man's Sky though. It doesn't mean that this game is any 
worse than one of those games. And that's the point I want to illustrate lastly. It doesn't mean it's worse than all those other games. Just because it's similar and has di it might be similar, but it has different things. It has different gameplay styles that I feel need to be addressed as opposed to those games. And if you want to compare those games, personally, I'm just going to say this personally, I feel like it would blow most of those other games out of the water just based on the sheer like mass of this game and like sh striving goal of this game. But anyway, this is Destiny Dragon God leaving you like this. Play it your own way. Tell me about how you feel in the comment section. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next video.